For the best in eyewear, call Dr. Leak's Optometry. Try to limit the number of people who are going to the door at once. And then also maybe having more than one person passing out candy in the driveway instead of in the door so that they don't have to actually go up to the porch and kind of um, congregate in that area. Dr. Robinson suggests setting up stations with grab-and-go individual treat bags. This allows for distancing, eliminates bunching at the door, and reduces the amount of time spent at the candy table. She recommends trick-or-treating earlier, wearing lighter colored costumes and reflective clothing. In addition, kids can carry flashlights or glow sticks so they're highly visible. Remember to choose a size-appropriate costume that's not hard to walk in and pair it with a protective mask, not a Halloween mask, to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Think about social distancing, wearing your mask, not congregating in big groups, and um, not limiting that the number of people that you're inside with, and just having fun. You still want to be a kid and, and have fun on Halloween. For children with nut or chocolate allergies, you can offer alternatives like stickers, toys, or pumpkin erasers. By placing teal pumpkins out, it will alert parents you offer these food allergy-safe treat options.